In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for Cs2O. This is cesium oxide. So we have a metal here, the cesium and oxygen, a non-metal. We're going to treat this as an ionic compound. So we'll put our oxygen right here, and let's put a Cs on either side. So cesium's in group one on the periodic table. Each cesium will have one valence electron. So we put that out here. Oxygen group 16, sometimes called 6A, it'll have six valence electrons. So since this is an ionic compound, the metal is going to transfer an electron to the more electronegative nonmetal. So this cesium here transfers its electron to the oxygen. That gives it seven. Oxygen almost has an octet. And then when this cesium here transfers its electron, oxygen now has eight. So it has an octet very stable. Then for the cesium underneath, the shell underneath, that's full, although we don't write the electrons here to show that. The oxygen, it gained two electrons. Electrons are negative, so it'll have a two minus ionic charge. This cesium, it lost one, so it has one plus. And the cesium here, it lost one, so it'll have one plus as well. Let's put brackets around the oxygen. And you'll also see brackets around the positive ions quite often. The key idea is that the electrons here with the oxygen, the ones that were transferred, they've been transferred. They're lost by the metal. They are not shared, so the brackets show that. So because we have these positive ions and the negative ion, they're attracted together. That forms the ionic bond for Cs2O. So this is our Lewis structure for Cs2O. Do note that if we had a crystal of Cs2O here, the cesium oxide, it would be a repeating pattern of this Lewis structure. But this is still useful. It shows us that the metals transferred their electrons to the nonmetal, form that ionic bond. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for cesium oxide. Thanks for watching.